Welcome to AWR University videos. The topic of this video is how to import data files into Microwave Office. Importing S parameter data files into Microwave Office is very easy and can be done three different ways. The first is through the Project Manager by right clicking on Data Files and then select Import Data File. The second way, which I think is the easiest, is through the Windows Explorer. Select the file and drag and drop the file into Microwave Office. And the final way is on the menu bar. Select Project, Add Data File, Import Data File. All very easy and will only take seconds to complete. Next, I'm going to show you in Microwave Office how to plot a data file. First on a rectangular graph and then we'll switch the rectangular graph to a Smith chart. Here we are in Microwave Office, and so let's start by creating a new graph. So we'll go up here to this white icon, and it says Add New Graph, and I would like to call it S21 Data File, and I want it rectangular. Okay. Now the first thing to do to add a new measurement is right-click, Add New Measurement, Port parameters here, S for the measurement, data source is going to be the data file, and going from port 1 to port 2. And I want to make sure that my DB is checked. Then I'll click Apply and OK. And now to see my results, I'll press the lightning bolt, which is Analyze. And there I have it. And now I have my rectangular graph from the information on my data file. To switch it to a Smith chart, we'll go over here to S21 data file under the graphs and we'll right click, duplicate as Smith. And I'm also going to rename it S11 Smith. Okay. And now press the lightning bolt again so we can analyze the results on this graph. Oops, I forgot to change it. So we'll right click, modify measurement, and we'll change this 2 to a 1. Now OK. And lightning bolt. Perfect. Here we go. Now we have both our rectangular graph and our Smith chart. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to add a data file to the schematic. First, you will have to create a new schematic, then place a data file in a schematic, which I will do using a subcircuit, then specifying the simulation frequency. For this example, it will be between 2 and 10 gigahertz. And lastly, simulating a schematic with a data file, and I will apply this to the rectangular graph. Now I will show you how to add a data file in a schematic. So first we need to create a schematic up here. Right next to the add a new graph is add new schematic. And we'll call it AMP. Okay. Now we need to place a data file in the schematic. So we'll go up here to sub circuit. Our data file is already selected and we want it to be a split explicit to ground node. Okay, and we'll drop it right there and I'll add two ports. And I just rotated it 90 degrees by right clicking on the port. And last, let me add my ground and connect with wires. Now I need to specify the simulation frequency, so I'll go to Project Options, right-click Edit. My starting frequency is going to be 2, my end 10 in steps of 0.1 gigahertz, and click Apply. And right here in the current range, I can see it from 2 to 10 in steps of 0.1. Okay. Oh, and I forgot that I wanted to change the coordinate system over here in interpolation passivity, change it to polar. Now we're okay. 
and I would like to right click on my data file, the S21 data file, and I'm going to add a measurement, port parameters S, same as before, except I would like it going to port 2. and DB is selected, apply, and OK. So now I'll go over here to my S21 data file chart, click the Analyze button, oops, oh, you know what, I forgot to change my source name, I need to go to data file, right click, add measurement, because I just had the same measurements before, but now I want it from AMP as my data source. Now apply and OK and Lightning Bolt. And there we have it. And if we go up here to Window, Tile Horizontal, we can see all our graphs and our subcircuit. And now we have just imported an S parameter data file. We've plotted the data file directly and we have added a data file in a schematic. This concludes the video on how to import data files into Microwave Office. Thank you very much for watching AWR University videos.